big adventure today, but then I realized when I started putting my equipment together that I still don't have a lot of my problems worked out. I don't have a way to get an antenna up into a tree. So today I'm going to be trying something I saw on YouTube with a water bottle. You put a string in a water bottle and you throw it up in the air. I'm going to be trying that. I also am having a little bit of seller's remorse. I sold that Yezu 897. It was the only 100 watt rig I own that I w wanted to take out of my house. I don't want to take the ICOM 7300 out. I'm going to use that as a base station for at least a year or two before I feel comfortable with taking it out of the house, you know, and maybe dropping it or getting it wet or something. I'm pretty paranoid about that stuff. So I'm bringing two QRP rigs, CW only. I am limited to less than five watts. Uh, CW, the goal is to make five contacts and hopefully just make some contacts and figure out how to get something up into a tree. Um, I had a slingshot, but one, I, I didn't want to spend an hour putting my uh, putting my stuff together. So I'm just going to throw a water bottle, see how high I can get it up there. If not, I'll use the chameleon uh, whip and just throw a whip up. Let's just see what happens. Also, I was going to go somewhere new, you know, for something different, but I realized I'm still working out the problems, my kinks and equipment stuff. So I'm going to go back to the same old place that I'm used to where I've got a table and I can, you know, it's just a few feet from the car. When I get a little bit better, a little more advanced and a lot lighter, I'm going to start carrying my stuff on a backpack and going out a uh, mile, two, three miles and setting up out in the woods or something uh, away from everybody. But for right now, I'm still working out the kinks, so I'm just going to the park. thing I wanted to do was, before I even get set up, try and throw around that tree up there maybe. And, uh, and there's a guy mowing. Seriously, this is the spot that has nobody. And there's a guy mowing, you know he's going to be there for like two hours. And it's hard to hear, it's hard to hear CW or anything. The idea is to get some kind of rope, wire, Run it through the cap, tie it to the bolt, screw it on, and then swing it around and throw it up over the tree. And there's a dude mowing over there. So even if I got this working, I'd have to listen to that mowing this whole time. He's going to get closer and closer. It'll be really hard to hear. Okay, so I've got me a bottle here. I don't think I'll be able to throw it very far. I think 30 feet. Maybe a little bit more, but it gets a little wild after that. What I'm going to do is just kind of practice first. That's kind of what this is about, just practice. So I'm just going to throw it around and see what happens. Don't know that I even have enough rope or cordage here, but let's see what happens. I will say this actually worked really well. So that's probably 30 feet up. I'm gonna try to get a video of me throwing this over for an antenna mast. Actually, the first time I did it, I held on to it for a half second too long and it burned my finger. So to be very careful of that, I got a little bit of rope burn. So I'm gonna try to position the camera so you can see this.
It actually is not too bad. I mean, I was able to sail it over that. My rope or my cordage isn't long enough, so I'm not really gonna use it. Plus, like I said, the lawnmower guy's over there and I'm getting eaten by bugs. I forgot to put bug spray on. Um, about that much water worked. I had too much in it, it was too heavy, but now like probably a third full, that worked really well. Also need to seal the top because the water gets out. I try to show you kind of a short range bottle throw, see if I can do it. It's kind of hard because I'm holding onto the camera and this at the same time. You have to be real careful not to hold on to it or you'll get burned. I actually stepped on the cord. I try to get on that low branch there. I've got the cordage out in front of me now. I'll wait for the people to not stare at me. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. See that? And it falls right through. See, that's what you could get that up 30, 40 feet. You know, if you had gloves on and you were really good, you'd probably get it 40, 50 feet. So this is gonna work. I mean, it's a cheap solution. Okay, so now I didn't have enough rope. I tied some extra paracord on here and that should be enough. I love park benches. I think they're so nice just to have everything you need for radio. Way too much table space. So I thought I would go not to that tree, to that tree over there and I think that would give me about 60 feet from here for the chameleon impasse. Let's see what happens. First try. Now the only thing I don't like is it's not very stealth with this super bright uh, orange stuff so if a ranger comes by or something he'll freak out anyway I am up there about 40 feet I don't think it'll get caught I can just pull on it that's so cool the mower guy's back no joke I moved and the mower guy's back seriously you're fucking kidding me. That was the first time I've ever done that. Set it up. Basically, I got the strain relief here to the top. No counterpoise. I have one, but I may not need it. We'll see. Now I've got it going. Sloping. And I've got it attached to the water bottle up there. I pulled the string and I put it down low because it's so high visibility. And I just, I didn't even tie it, I just wrapped it around here. And it's, it's basically right there. Got my battery coax, I have it looped around there. I think it's 25 feet, but it's random and then I got the sloper no counterpoise yet 7035 forgot my speaker okay so now you can definitely hear signal 7 I'm on 7044 I'm gonna go up higher where they're going slower and let's see if we can tune up Go where I can't hear anything. Okay. It did not tune. Okay, on the third time it did tune. I'm at 1.3. Let's see if it do it a fourth time. Okay, there we go. 1.6, that's the power. 1.1 SWR. I am ready to go. I had to go through the menu system because the key was backwards. I have to 
get it right. So here we go. CQ, first time, Elecraft, hooking up. Remote, I'm being tagged by mosquitoes hard, so I'm not gonna stay here long. Somebody heard me, but then they vanished. Let's take a look real quick. I'm on 14.065. Let's tune up again. When it goes real fast like that, that means it's already tuned. That's the power. Three, three to three and a half watts. SWR, one to one. Internal tuner. Chameleon antenna to that tree up there. Everything's working. Everything here is beautiful, except mosquitoes are tagging me. I have this towel on, getting tagged hard. We got some uh, serious rain a couple weeks ago, and then people keep walking by. I mean, cars keep going by, making a lot of noise, and airplanes. Every time there's a lot of noise, I can't concentrate, I can't hear. Yes, uh, hand bands, 160's terrible, 80's terrible, 40's terrible, 30, 20 looks good. Maybe I could pop onto that other radio. It has four bands and this only has two. Cool. I just made a contact, and I think he was in Ontario. NK8Q, I believe. I'm going to listen some more and make sure. 1232, 513, Saturday. Go ahead and write everything down to do this, but I'm going to tear down. I've got bites all over me. I, I need to wear pants or long sleeve shirt next time. I did make one contact. I proved that I could work. The water bottle worked really well. Let's see if I can get it down now. That's the next question. Okay, I'm almost packed up here. I was going to summarize everything. Uh, everything worked really well. 
I'm not bringing long sleeves and bug spray was the stupidest thing I did this time um, due to the rain and the mosquitoes. If I did anything wrong, I probably brought too much. I brought, this time, I brought my other little MFJ, uh, what is that? That's the 971 tuner, because last time I needed it and this time I didn't. Um, if I did anything wrong, it was that. The water bottle worked really well for throwing up in the tree. It works surprisingly well. I just need a longer piece of cordage and it needs to be sealed at the top otherwise the water comes out and I need to do something better than a water bottle and I need a longer paracord and it needs to be green those wild strawberries check it out wild strawberries little strawberries everywhere 